Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Tech Block. We got a parcel in today from Razer. I've legit been waiting for this parcel for like so many months. It's been delayed and delayed, but we finally got it. The Razer Kraken V3 Pro is uh, what we have here today. It is basically very similar to a headset I've already reviewed on the channel, which was the Razer Kraken V3 Hypersense. This bad boy right here, very nice pairs of headphones. I like the Kraken lineup from Razer in general. I just find them like very comfortable to use. If you've ever tried any of the Razer Hypersense headsets, you know what I'm talking about. Some people don't like it, but that kind of feature, the whole like super heavy bass that like legit your head vibrates if you turn it up high enough, um, it's only really meant for like certain scenarios, like you don't want it on all the time. Like if you're talking to people on Discord, you don't want your whole head vibrating when someone like has a deep voice or something. So it's really a feature you like enable when listening to music or certain games can work quite well with it as well. Like maybe first person shooters, if you just want that little bit more immersion in your game. But generally when you're watching YouTube videos, when you're talking to people on Discord, chances are you're not gonna have that thing turned on. If you can get a pair of wireless headphones, I would highly recommend it, especially if you have friends on Discord that you talk to. Wireless headphones are just like a blessing, like an actual blessing, dude, no joke. The one thing about this that is, I think, better than the wired one, oddly enough, is I think the microphone on this is better than what I'm currently using over there. Right, I've brought over the other box for the Kraken V3 Hypersense, the wide version of this one that we're gonna be unboxing today. And uh, yeah, the mic on this one is a detachable hyperclear cardioid mic, whereas on the new one, it's a hyperclear super cardioid mic, all right? They've added the super to this mic. Let's hope it actually does sound better. Let's open this thing up, dude. So, of course, this headset, it's wireless, but it still has RGB. If you do want better battery life, I would recommend you turn the lights off. You know, after all, you can't see them. Only people around you can see them. Or if you're like a live streamer, then you could keep the lights on if you have like Razer Chroma integration into your live stream. This headset comes pretty nicely packed. What is this in the middle here? Is this the dongle? It is. Okay, so pretty standard unboxing. I mean, if you've ever seen like a Razer unboxing video for headsets, I mean, they're all very, very similar, well packed. There's a lot of padding. I highly doubt the headset has arrived damaged. It looks absolutely pristine. I am already just a massive fan that these are just wireless because, mate, going from like a wireless headset back to a wired headset, you feel like like you're tied to your desk because you, you you literally are. If you've got wireless headphones, mate, you're on your Discord call, you're like, oh, I need to go get a drink, be right back, and you can keep your headphones on, stay in the conversation, go down to the kitchen, get whatever you need, get your snacks, cook some steaks, and you're good. You can stay on Discord the whole time. So like I mentioned earlier, this headset comes with a detachable microphone that we can plug in just like this. Razer have finally done away with micro USB. So instead of previous Razer headsets using a micro USB cable that you gotta plug in to charge them, this one is using a type C cable. Like these ones here, if I'm not mistaken, they're around 200 pound. Hopefully they are cheaper now because they have been out for a little while. So I hope the prices have dropped down a little bit. It is quite expensive. It is also a very like premium headset. The headrest on top that will actually sit on top of your head actually feels yeah it's a different material so on the wide version it's a cloth headrest on top here well the very top is leather but then the inside that actually sits on your head is cloth on the inside whereas on this wireless one slightly more premium feeling it's got all leather here but it's very like cushiony leather let's actually put this thing on now these are brand new headphones so they are going to be like really tight right out of the box Oh man, man, this, this just fits so well. At least for my own head shape and like my ears, this headset just feels like absolutely spot on. But mate, genuinely like these headphones feel nice. They feel real nice. In comparison, we have the previous wireless Razer Hypersense headset, the Razer Nari Ultimate. And look at the size of these bad boys. It's kind of mad. It's kind of mad how big these headphones are but the base on these is ludicrous. These are also, if you're in the market for like this sort of headset, that's wireless, has that cool uh, like vibrating crazy bass feature, 
these are still a good option and they're way cheaper. I think they're like half the price of these new ones, but because of like how big these headphones are and also the Razer Nari Ultimates, they can like swivel, like the actual ear cups can swivel. So when you take the headset off, you can like rest it on yourself like this, then you can pick it up, boom, put it back on. But it makes so like this headset, like it doesn't feel like as secure on your actual head, but that probably has to do something with the headset being really old in my case and the actual tightness not really being there anymore. But with the new Kraken V3 Pros, this, this feels like really snug on my actual head. Like I have like no real worries shaking my head around. They feel way more secure on your actual head than the Razer Nari Ultimate, which is like, <laughs> you move your head a bit, bro, it flies off. I think without further ado, we plug this thing in. So it comes with a dongle. Of course, it is a USB dongle. I highly recommend that you do not plug this into the back of your PC if you value good like headset connection. If you plug this into the back of your PC next to a whole bunch of other USB ports, chances are the moment you walk out of the room that your PC is in, it's gonna probably start cutting out. And that's because you've obstructed the whole signal of this dongle because you've plugged it into the back of your PC next to a bunch of other ethernet cables, display cables, whatever is at the back of your PC. So if you want good range and you can genuinely get good range out of like probably most wireless headsets, like you could walk to like the other end of your home to different rooms and still have no connection problems as long as you plug the actual dongle in like a good location. So. In my case, I'm gonna plug it in here. It's like head level, nothing is obstructing it. It's in the front of my PC. Now we've plugged it in. Uh, there is, of course, a power button on the left ear cup to actually turn the headphones on. So let's press and hold that. So there is an LED right next to that power button as well. We have a volume up down wheel to, oh, <laughs> it's, it's already playing music. It's already on. I have, I have plugged it in, of course. Uh, it is, of course, immediately prompting me to update Razer Synapse and install the actual drivers for this headset, but it did work straight away without me installing anything, which is good. Uh, the RGB is immediately turned on. By default, it's just gone into like a Razer Spectrum cycle. Pretty sure both ear cups only have like a single LED and they will only be one color, but we will investigate the RGB capabilities of these headphones in a second and see can you do wave? Chances are you can't, and that makes sense, because ideally you want you want better battery life. But overall, like mate, the actual headphones, they feel nice. They feel like well built. I'm a fan, like genuinely just losing the cable, because I like I genuinely already liked the wired pair of headphones quite a lot. And these, these are just like that little bit better. No cable, you can walk around freely. Right, so it's been a few days since I began recording my first unboxing slash impressions video of the Kraken V3 Pros. Been using it every single day since I got them. Still really liking the headphones. The range has been pretty decent. I'm able to walk all the way to the kitchen. No audio cutting out, none of that. Very happy with it. Now the audio that you're also hearing right now is from the Hyperclear Super Cardioid mic, which this headset comes with. I will also be plugging in the previous microphone which is the Hyperclear Cardioid mic that comes with the Razer Kraken V3 Hypersense. So the audio you've been hearing now is from the new headset mic, the super one. This is with just default microphone settings as far as I know. Yeah, so I've not really messed around with anything. You could maybe fine tune it a little bit, perhaps by enabling the ambient noise reduction feature to get rid of like any background noise then maybe as well you could enable voice clarity and maybe voice normalization and that could potentially make the microphone sound even better you know but for now that's how it's sounding like with just default settings let me turn both of these off let me plug in this microphone instead so this is going to be the normal one not the super mic right so the microphone that you're hearing now is the razer cardioid hyperclear mic all right so not the super one the one below the super and uh, it probably doesn't sound as good I can imagine. I haven't actually heard this side-by-side -side comparison just yet. Let's plug this one back in. So this is back on the super cardioid hyperclear mic. Very nice. But yeah, you can probably mess around with like some of these settings and perhaps make it sound a little bit better. Apart from that though, some of the other things in the software, you can of course enable power saving mode. Would highly recommend you do that if you care about battery life. 
I have charged the headset one time this morning via Type-C, only for maybe like 5-10 minutes and it did charge a decent amount. Uh, you can also of course enable the RGB lighting via Razer Synapse as well. However, the amount of lighting effects are going to be very limited. You can of course enable the audio meter which will make the headset react to audio. Uh, or you could do like, you know, single color modes. Personally, I would recommend you turn the lights off. I know, I know, coming from me, telling you to turn the RGB off, unbelievable. But in terms of battery life, it would actually help quite a bit, I can imagine. Apart from that though, on the right ear cup, there is of course the button to enable the haptic intensity or the Razer Hypersense feature. That is one of the main selling points of these headphones. When you press the button one time, it's going to enable the haptic intensity to the lowest setting and it's basically just like a cycle that you go through so low medium high and then you turn it off and you, you know if you ever want it turned on again you just press that button because this is a feature you don't always want turned on so if you're like playing counter-strike for example or battlefield or you're watching some action movie you can just boom turn it on when you want it and when you don't want it just quickly cycle through and turn it off and the headset makes like a beeping sound every time you press it to kind of let you know which stage you're on as well so you don't have to be looking at the actual software to know whether it's on or off plus you're gonna know whether it's on or off just by how things sound and feel through the actual headphones so it's pretty easy to kind of tell if it's on or off there is of course the whole enhancement feature you can enable extra bass boost sound normalization that will pretty much make like sounds that are generally maybe a bit quieter make them louder uh, which can be a useful feature sometimes like if you're watching some youtube video where he's messed the whole audio up and the video is super super quiet enabling sound normalization will really really help and voice clarity as well is kind of self-explanatory you know it will probably make like the voice a little bit more clear from whatever you're listening to um, apart from that though that's pretty much it you know there's of course the microphone settings the mic monitoring side tone is a feature you can enable as well which basically allows you to listen to the audio of your microphone but because you're doing that you're also picking up like sounds from all around you so if you're waiting for someone to like call you or something and you're wearing headphones enabling this will kind of let you listen into the environment around you as well as like hearing yourself speak it is kind of a useful feature even if you keep it on like the lowest level so it's just kind of there like in, in the background quietly and um it can help you sometimes i would say in a scenario where like you're in a discord call and you've forgotten that you've muted your mic and you've been speaking to all your mates for like 10 minutes straight and no one has heard a word you've said because you've muted your microphone and you've been speaking to yourself for the past 10 minutes we've all been there but if you would have had microphone monitoring side tone enabled then you would know if your microphone is muted because you would not be hearing yourself and not be hearing anything around you it is an optional feature but it is actually kind of useful in some scenarios i would say especially when it's just like on a very low level it's kind of just there in the background like just barely like hearable you know i probably wouldn't want to set it all the way up to 100 because that kind of sounds a bit weird but keeping it on like zero percent and on it still works it's just very very minimal you know and not distracting by any means but apart from that that's pretty much all the software bits covered there is one really cool feature though, so let me go over to Spotify. This can work with YouTube videos as well, by the way. So where the power button is on this headset, if you ever used the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro headphones, you know that the power button on that one, when you press on it once, it begins playing music, all right? It acts as a play pause button for media. So this could be Spotify or any YouTube video that you're watching, could maybe work with Netflix or something that you're watching on Amazon video. Anything that is playing on your PC, most applications that is at least, you can play pause wherever you are. So you don't have to be at your PC pressing play pause. You could be in the kitchen and you're like, hey, I wanna listen to some Spotify. You just press that button and as long as Spotify is running in the background, it will start playing Spotify. It's really useful. On top of that, you also get next track and previous track controls all through the same button. Although I have found this to be a little bit more finicky to actually get right. Perhaps I'm not pressing it right, but the play pause works excellently. However, skip track and previous track are a bit more finicky. So let's try to skip this track. So instead it just like played. Let's try it again. So now it's skipped. And if I want to go back, I'll do a triple click. So that just restarted the song. Yeah, like... Sometimes it skips forward instead of going back. Yeah, the whole previous track is a bit more 
difficult to get right in my opinion but it does work sometimes one final thing worth mentioning as well before we wrap today's video up is you can see the actual headband on the side right there every level of adjustability is labeled on both sides on here it's on the lowest setting so like on the shortest setting and then over on the other side there are a total of eight adjustability levels that you can fine tune to make this headset fit your head as perfectly as possible most of the headset by the way the actual main frame of it is made out of metal which is cool to the touch and everything it's nice to see that they are actually using like premium materials for this headset so the chance of this headset snapping in half is probably extremely unlikely given that the whole headband is like metal you know what i mean but the rest of the headphones are a mix of metal and plastic of course for the actual rgb bits and everything but yeah the ear cups themselves feel real good nice and cushiony the top part is like most likely fake leather of course but it feels very cushiony very nice when you're actually wearing the headphones this will be my headset going forward for the foreseeable future unless razor release an even better pair of headphones than these which i'll be sure to make a video about if they do do that but yeah super happy with these headphones in general and uh can't wait to put more hours into them and maybe in the future i'll feature them again in like a dedicated review after like a certain amount of time if you know my opinion changes about them but so far for first impressions in the last like i don't know maybe a week or so i've had these already loving the headphones so far like genuinely super happy with them but yeah i'm gonna wrap today's video up here if you want to pick up the razor kraken v3 pros or any of the other headsets i've mentioned today you can check the pricing for each one of the products in the description down below with this being the most expensive headset the razer nari ultimate being probably the most budget friendly razer hypersense headset but if you don't care about the whole mega base razer hypersense you know immersion then another great pair of headphones to consider as well is the Razer Black Shark V2 Pros if you want a wireless headset that also has that whole multimedia thing where you can press the power button and you know skip tracks or play pause anytime anywhere very nice feature to have on wireless headphones works real well with Spotify and everything all right I'm gonna get going thanks so much for watching guys I hope to see you in another one soon all right we got a big parcel in right behind the camera right now so we're gonna hopefully make an unboxing video of that probably right after I finish making this video. So I'll see you guys then. Until next time.